Does anyone else out there feel like you're just holding your breath, waiting for the next shoe to drop? So much is going on. And Israel's getting kind of bold. And they need to be. They need to be bold. And they need to be ahead of everyone else. But I don't know, ever since October 7th, it's like the demonic realm has been completely unleashed. And the times, the events have just been converging one after another. And so I just feel like I'm sitting here holding my breath, waiting for something to happen. Anyone else? Let me tell you something. If that's you, if you come to these messages on my platform and other people's platforms talking about these things and you're not saved, you need to be saved because the Lord's the only one that can provide protection for you and has a great promise for those of us who believe in him. Check out this video, this simple gospel message on how to be saved. So I have a lot of people ask me, how do I get saved? But I also have a lot of people ask me, how do I know I am saved? So here's how. So the gospel of Jesus Christ is the good news that God provided the way for man to be free from the penalty of sin, which is death. Romans 6.23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. The gospel is found in 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4, and it says, Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again on the third day according to the scriptures. So what does gospel mean? Gospel means good news. And it's only the gospel of Jesus Christ that provides salvation. The gospel is the most powerful thing you will ever hear. And choosing to believe it and put your faith and trust in Christ alone for your salvation is the most important decision you will ever make for your life. Sin was ushered into the world through Adam and imparted into every heart of man. And therefore, we are the corrupted seed of Adam. And that's why we are born into this world already on the wide road to destruction. But the gospel changes everything. And if you reject it, it will cost you your eternal life. Now the gospel message is so very simple, but in order for us to understand why it is good news, we must first understand the bad news. You see, the law of God is like a measuring stick, and anything short of perfection is a sin according to God's law. And because God's laws are so stringent, no one could ever fulfill his law. And the wages that we have been given for our sin is death and eternal separation from God. But here's the good news. In God's great mercy, he sent his only son to die in our place and fulfill the law of righteousness. Jesus suffered, died, and was buried. And so the work of atonement is finished. And Jesus' final words before he took his last breath were, it is finished, meaning the debt has been paid in full. And that, my friends, is the good news. But wait, there's even better news. On the third day, Jesus rose to life again, proving himself to be who he said he was, and now he lives. So Jesus conquered sin through his death, and he conquered death through his resurrection. But wait, there's even better news. Jesus offers to share his victory with us. So how do you come to salvation and spend eternity with our amazing, loving, merciful God? Well, it begins with belief. Acts 16, 31 says, Believe on the Lord Jesus and you shall be saved. Well, God has already done the work. So receive it in faith and fully put your trust in Jesus' sacrifice alone as payment for your sin. John 3, 16 says, Believe in him and you will not perish. John 14, 6 says that Jesus is the way of salvation. Romans 10, 9 and 10 says, 
if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. When you truly put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ alone for your salvation, the Holy Spirit will come dwell within you. He will sanctify you. He will give you a new heart with new desires. Ezekiel 36, 26 says, I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will remove from you a heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. So once you put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ alone for your salvation, you will become a new person. 2 Corinthians 5, 17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things become new. You will be forever changed by the power of the Holy Spirit. We are living in the last days, but even tomorrow is not guaranteed. Even your next breath, your next heartbeat is not guaranteed. So what are you waiting for?